Have you heard of the spotted lanternfly? If you've visited or do business with the East Coast, you probably have. The spotted lanternfly is an invasive pest first discovered in the U.S. in 2014 that feeds on over 70 different plants, especially Ailanthus altissima, otherwise known as the tree of heaven. These unwelcome guests are more than just a nuisance to plants. They pose a substantial threat to California's agricultural crops, including grapes, wine, fruit and nut trees, and ornamentals, and also affect our enjoyment of the outdoors, and put the state's $50 billion-plus agriculture industry at risk. The life cycle of the lanternfly starts in late spring, when the eggs hatch as nymphs. They cannot fly and swiftly hop, climbing trees to feed on more tender plant growth. As they develop, they become bright red, adding to their natural black markings and white spots. In summer, they shed their exoskeleton and grow into adults with wings. Spotted lanternflies cannot bite and have piercing, sucking mouth parts which are designed for plant feeding. They wound trees to eat tree sap and excrete honeydew, a sticky, sugary substance that encourages sooty mold fungi. This will attract wasps and other insects. The long-term health of the infested tree is damaged, and the surrounding plants are also at risk. In early fall, the females begin to lay eggs in rows on any surface. One lanternfly can lay at least one to two egg masses that contain 30 to 50 eggs each. Most of the eggs are covered in a white secretion that turns to mud color and eventually cracks. Eradicating this invasive pest from the U.S. is a monumental task. There are no natural predators here to truly help deplete the growing population. Early detection is vital to protect California's agriculture and environment. Spot the spotted lanternfly? Snag it? Snap it? Report it. Together, we can keep the spotted lanternfly out of California. Adapted with permission from Penn State Extension.